Hello. So today I want to discuss about a problem that appeared in CMI entrance exam 2021. It's a polynomial problem. It also involves number theory as well. So the question says consider polynomials of the form fx equal to x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c. So fx is a monic integer polynomial because abc are integers and its roots are pqr. We have no constraints on pqr. So now I have to determine if f1 is 2021, then we can write fx in as the form fx equal to x minus 1 into x square plus sx plus 3 plus 2021 or str integers. We have to determine whether there are such polynomials f such that c is 2021 and one of the roots is 2. We have to determine whether there is a polynomial f such that one of the roots is half. And we have to determine if the sum of square of roots d square plus q square plus r square whether it depends on c or not. So let's do this. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. For the first part, as f1 is 2021, we have x minus 1 divides fx minus f1. Like for any integers a and b, a minus b divides f a minus f b for integer polynomials. You know this thing. So, sorry, this is f1. And f1 is 2021. So, fx minus 2021. So fx minus 2021 is a polynomial times x minus 1. So their degrees must match. So x minus 1 times some gx. And as x minus 1 is a linear and fx is a cubic polynomial, so g of x must be quadratic. So g should be of the form some ux square plus vx plus w. And as in that case, my leading coefficient, my leading term becomes u times x cube. And as, as f is monic, u must be 1. So fx equal to x minus 1 times x square plus vx plus w. We call it sx plus p plus 2021. And you can easily check by multiplying this out and matching coefficients from RHS and LHS such that s and t must be integers. Either integers. So part a is true. And it easily follows from Euclidean division algorithm also for polynomials. We have to determine whether there is a polynomial f with c equal to 2021 and p equal to 2. So fx equal to x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c plus sorry 2021 and we have f of 2 equal to 0. Now what is f of 2? 8 plus 4a plus 2b plus 2021 equal to 0. Is it possible? Because see, 8 plus 4a plus 2b is an even integer irrespective of any value of any integer value of a and b. So this is always even and 2021 is odd. So even plus odd is odd. So this gives me 0 is an odd number. But 0 can never be odd. Like so this is a contradiction. So from there what can we conclude? This b is false. This is true. This is false. Like there is no such polynomial. It's equal to 2021 and p equal to 2. Now about part c. We have to determine whether there is a polynomial such that it has root half. Okay, the it is not okay. So I have f x equal to uh, x cube plus a x square plus b x plus c, and we have f of half is zero. Now we had the theorem on integer polynomials that if f is an integer polynomial.
like f belongs to say zx integers this is a notation then if f of p by q is 0 where it is a rational this belongs to q then we can say that q divides the leading coefficient and p divides the constant term you can easily in like which is same as like if fx equal to a0 plus a1x plus up to dot 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 anx power n then q divides a n and p divides a0 you can easily check it by putting a0 plus a1 p by q plus dot 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 a n p to the power k n by q to the power n equal to 0 and multiply this whole equation by q to the power n then you will get a diophantyl equation then you will check modulo p and modulo q this is very easy to do so here i have what can i say about here like here i have fx equal to x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c can f of half be zero if f of half zero then in that case one divide c that's fine but two divides leading coefficient and it is one here that means two divides one and this is clearly absurd it cannot be true two cannot divide one so part c is also false is part d true this is a very easy example of vietas relations as p and pq are our roots we have fx equal to uh, x cube plus x square plus bx plus c and pq are our roots by vietas relations we get p plus q plus r equal to minus a pq plus pr plus qr equal to b and pqr equal to minus c now you can easily see that p square plus q square plus r square equal to p plus q plus r whole square minus 2 into this thing and that is a square minus 2b and this is independent of c like a, b, c are randomly chosen integers. A and p are not related to c. They are independently chosen. So, a square minus 2b, this expression doesn't depend on c. This depends on only a and b. So, this expression p square plus k square plus r square is independent of c. This is also true. So, the first, first and the last statements are true and middle two statements are false. And this ends the solution. We are done. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics. And they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.